So when I'm out shooting, I generally wear gloves. When it's at the range or practicing for any kind of tactical shooting, usually it's just to keep uh, my hands protected from the heat and soot, um, but mostly just so that sweaty hands don't uh, affect my grip on the gun. When I'm hunting, it's a little bit of a different story. A lot of times I'm going through mesquite or climbing barbed wire fences or going through brambles. So it's really just to protect my hands and to help camouflage them. So gloves like these, mechanics, multicam gloves are typically the sort of thing I would use in either situation. Usually camo for hunting. If I'm not hunting, then the color doesn't really matter that much. But I found that when I'm hunting, Using gloves like this, even thin gloves like this, you really lack precision in working with your fingers. Whether that's the finger on the trigger, or if you have to tie a knot, or if you have to turn a knob on a flashlight or your scope or something. So we're going to take these gloves and make them more usable for hunting. So to make them more usable, pretty much the simplest modification ever. We're going to cut off the fingers. Well, not the whole fingers. Just the tip. Apparently my <laughs> box cutter is not as sharp as I thought it was. Probably a pretty old blade, but gets the job done, right? And the thumb. Now, not going to worry about the ring finger or the pinky finger, because when you're fiddling with your hands or tying knots or you have your finger on the trigger, those don't really matter, so you might as well keep those protected, keep those warm, keep those dry, whatever. So now that you have the equivalent of weird looking sweater vest for your hands, your gloves are much more suited for actually hunting and shooting. Mm -hmm.